Good morning, Peace Up. I'm Jacob. And I'm Caitlin. And we're here with your morning announcements. The 2023 SJ5K family nomination form is now open until January 15th. If you know of someone in a medical crisis, please consider filling out this form to nominate them to be one of the SJ5K families this year. You can find the form in the SJ5K Instagram bio. SAD is meeting next Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. in room 612 at Plymouth. Attention all PSEP students. Join us at our next aviation club meeting today in PHS room 600 at 2.30. Do you like ping pong? Do you want to compete in a tournament? The second surf ping pong tournament will be held on Friday, January 20th at 3 p.m. at Salem. All proceeds will be used to purchase tennis equipment for underprivileged kids. You can sign up with the QR code or at bit.ly second serve tournament. Plymouth Congress is hosting a pancake breakfast on February 2nd as an end of final celebration for students with Plymouth Advisory. Tickets for this event can be purchased in advisory on January 17th, 19th, and 24th for $5 cash. The PSEP Unified Sports Game will be played on January 17th in the Plymouth Gym at 4 p.m. Come and support your school. Attention all PHS freshmen, join us at our next class of 2026 council meeting, January 19th in PHS Room 600 at 2.30. PSEP Spanish Club is open to all PSEP Spanish speakers and learners. We meet the second and fourth Tuesday of each month right after school in Plymouth 215C, Miss Maturin's room. The next meeting is Tuesday, January 24th. The PSEP yearbooks still has some spaces available for senior celebration ad. Each ad costs $65. The deadline for ad submission is the 15th of January 2023 or until all spaces are sold. Senior celebration ads can be purchased at www.yearbookforever.com. Use the school name PSEP. If you have any questions, please email PSEPyearbook at pccsk12.com. The senior yearbook proofs are currently posted for all students to review at all three schools. Please stop by and check the accuracy of your photo, name, and school before these pages go to print. The proofs are posted in the following locations, the Canton General Office, the Plymouth Library, and the Salem Library. If there is a mistake, report the error by Wednesday, January 18th. Email corrections to pcepyearbook at pccsk12.com. Can Chiefs Wrestling is hosting a Panera fundraiser on January 27th, 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Use the code fun 4 you to help the Chiefs. UMED is a nonprofit medical organization aimed at preparing members for careers in education in the field of medicine. Our mission is to provide resources and opportunities to all high schoolers interested in medicine to further the advancement of clinical research. UMED meets weekly on Tuesdays after school in the Canton Library. Attention all PHS seniors, join us at our next class of 2023 council meeting, January 30th in PHS room 600 at 2.30. PSEP's Winter Formal Snow Co. will be on February 4th. There will be dancing, games, a 360 photo booth, and even a Super Smash Bros. tournament. Tickets will be on sale during lunch from January 17th to the 18th for $30, and online sales open at 4 p.m. on the 18th. Attention all PHS juniors, join us at our next class of 26, 2026 council meeting January 19th in PHS Stream 600 at 2.30. That's all for your announcements, PSEP. The oldest living animal in the world just turned 190 year years old this past month. That animal is a tortoise named Jonathan. Jonathan resides on the island named St. Hel Helena, located in the South Atlantic Ocean, where he has spent 140 of his years. When researchers first discovered Jonathan on the island, based on his shell, he was approximately the age of 50. Now Jonathan has been alive for almost two centuries. Because of Jonathan being so old, he has lived through many, many things. Jonathan has lived through the first photo taken, which was in 1838, the World Wars, 40 U.S. Presidents, the rise and fall of the British Empire and was given a visit by Queen Elizabeth in 1947, and so much more. Guinness World Records has recently named him the oldest Chelonian, which includes tortoises, turtles, and terrapins in the world, three years after naming him the oldest animal in the world. Jonathan is blind and has no sense of smell, but he loves interacting with humans, and humans love him just as much. The residents of the island throw Jonathan a three-day birthday celebration every year in December. Because his birthday is unknown, Governor Phillips gave him an official birthday of December 4th, 1832. They give Jonathan his favorite veggies and fruits, which include cabbage, cucumbers, bananas, and more. With all these fruits and veggies, they make him a big cake. Jonathan resides at the plantation house on the island, and you can even go visit him. But if you do, you have to be very calm and gentle to make sure you cause Jonathan no stress because of his age. Tortoises are slow to move and comprehend, so doing something so spontaneous or out of the ordinary will cause him stress. Joe Hollins, one of his caretakers, says, He's a great animal, and as a vet, what greater privilege is there to be, to, to be the, looking after the oldest known living land animal in the world? What's going on, Plymouth Canton Educational Park? I'm Eli with your sports. Yesterday, the Canton boys swim team defeated Howell 104-73. to The Chiefs bowling team also defeated Howell. Good job, Chiefs. I'm so proud of you. Yesterday, the Wildcats varsity and junior varsity bowling team defeated Novi. Fantastic job, Wildcats. 
I'm also so very proud of you. In college sports, the Michigan hockey team diff takes on Ohio State in a doubleheader today and tomorrow to celebrate 100 years of Michigan hockey. In professional sports, yesterday the Detroit Red Wings defeated their rival, the Toronto Maple Leafs, 4-1. to one. And today the Pistons play the New Orleans Pelicans at 7 p.m. That's it for your sports. Peace up. Have a fantastic day. Hi, peace up. It's Jerry here with your weather. Today we will be rather chilly with a high of 33 and a low of 24. Saturday will be a high of 33 and a low of 18. Sunday will be a high of 37 and a low of 21. And on Monday, we'll have a high of 39 and a low of 27. That's all. Have a great day. Hi, it's Ashley Watson here with the Peace Up Figure Ice Skating Team. Uh, can you please introduce yourselves? I'm Sarah, Kent Senior Captain. I'm Alyn, Salem Senior Captain. I'm Elena, Canton Senior Captain. I'm Madison Street, Canton Senior. How has your season been? It's been going pretty well so far. We've had one competition already, and we're looking forward to our next one on Monday. So off the ice, what's your favorite memory with the team? Um, my favorite memory is going to states and just being able to just have fun and make memories and just laugh with the team. And then what are you most looking forward to this season? Um, definitely working hard the rest of the season to qualify for states and competing in both hopefully the team event and individual events. Are there any requirements or experience necessary to join the team? No, we have three teams, an A, B, and C team, so there's no experience needed. Thank you. I'm signing up for African American History class. Hey, I was listening and I've actually joined that class and it was very interesting. So in the class, we learned about influential black people and the struggles they face daily. And we got to participate in many fun activities and it was just a great time. What about homework? Well, I'm glad you asked. Homework is actually very much minimal. If you use your class time wisely in class, there is virtually no homework. That's good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Catch y'all later. I'm definitely gonna join my class. Yeah, me too. Huey Newton going stupid, you can't resist his high power. So can we skip to the good part? Do you have a special talent? Would you like to showcase it live? Well, we'd love to have you. Send in a video of you doing your talent. Submissions end Friday, January the 20th. For more information, please contact varietyis2023 at gmail.com. Hmm, what should I wear to Snowco? <sighs> eh, I need more color. Too plain. I like it, but <gasps> sparkles. It's perfect. Tickets go on sale next Tuesday and Wednesday during lunch in all three schools for $30. Then Wednesday at 4 p.m. online tickets go on sale. Look for the link on all three Congress Instagram pages. Tickets sell out soon, so buy them fast. See you there! My name is Ms. Newman. I'm the Director of Choirs here at PCEP. And so what was today all about? Today was about uh, community and bringing choirs together. We had all five middle schools bring their eighth grade choir members to the park and work with our two choirs, Festival Singers and Encore. Cool. And uh, why should people join choir? Choir is just a wonderful community, very tight knit, very much like a family. Um, it, you can use in other languages, you know, it deal with math, language, it really encompasses all of the the core subjects, and it's just an awesome experience every single day. And what advice would you give to someone who is thinking about joining? Um, send me an email or join.
just come into the choir room, room 1400 of Salem. Um, there is a spot for every single level of singer, every single grade level. Um, everybody is welcome in choir, and we would love to have you. Awesome, thank you. You are welcome, thank you. Do you plan on doing choir in the future? Yes, I do. Good. Well, thank you. You're welcome. 